shoplifting? What is the force's response to retail crime? Uh, how is it ensuring investigations are appropriately progressed? Um, there was a decrease in the offences of shoplifting um, when we look at uh, the final figures for 2022 compared to uh, 2019. Uh, and clearly we've uh, tried to miss out the, the pandemic uh, period because that wouldn't be a true reflection. Uh, more importantly for me, our attention to it and support for retailers. The charge rate uh, in 2019 was uh, just under 15%. Uh, in 2022, it's 19.8%, uh, uh, and I know in the seven months so far this year, it's 20% or over 20%. Uh, that puts us well above our most similar group, uh, who average about 17%, and it equates to uh, a total of 1,700 uh, plus charges uh, for this year. Um, so I think I've certainly seen in the news the, the sort of attention on what I would describe as the more overt shopliftings where perhaps there is a level of intimidation or threat to retailers and staff. Uh, we won't tolerate that. Uh, and indeed, um, that may well uh, even be an offence of robbery on occasion. So our attention to that with our new uh, neighbourhood policing model, uh, beat officers in town centres, uh, and indeed even our task force teams that each district have will be focused on recidivist offenders for shoplifting. Uh, and I'm hopeful that we can work more and more uh, with business crime partnerships to identify particularly where those hotspot areas are, uh, which offenders are causing uh, the most offences and particularly, as I say, where there is this more uh, higher level of a threat and intimidation.